and, yep, yep. and then call a timeout. So yes, two yeah. timeouts for Wyoming. Or spike it. in the backfield. Third down and one. Let's see what Peasley drums up here. Hands it off to Vaughn. Gets the first. Second effort gets into midfield. Now either call timeout or run up and spike it. This is one of those ones where I, you know, they do call the timeout. They call the timeout. I was gonna say, don't waste it down on spiking. Why? I, that always drives me crazy. I don't you, mind. You're not, a, you're not a great offense. You, you, you know, you might get stuck in a spot where. Shet going to the locker room. I just think if you need that down, you're probably gonna run out of time. Yeah. So guys, keep in mind, John Hoyland, the Wyoming kicker, his longest this season is 55. He's 20. He's made 20 field goals this season, which ties the school record. So. Now, he has a wider field goal range than most kickers in college football. Now we should note, Jake, Laramie is altitude, is it not? Yes. I believe so. So thinner air, it's pretty high up there. Sneaky gonna, tough place to play. I'm gonna ask something that I know is stupid and I may regret it after I ask it. What does Pokes mean? I know it's Wyoming, go Pokes, but what is it? I believe I it's just it's a nickname cowboys. for Cowboys. Yeah. yeah, Poke is a Cowboy. I think yeah. Oklahoma State does the same thing. Okay. Live and learn. That's a little history lesson for all you Ohio people. Lynn, I love the cowboy. See the hat. cowboy hat. We mentioned him before. He has a long list of accolades. A semifinalist for the Luke Rozo Award for the top kicker, first team All Mountain West. So guys, this just illustrates that yeah, you have some work ahead of you to get him into, into field goal range, but not as much as if it were any other kicker. Well, yeah, we don't know the altitude, obviously, but so the altitude, in, the altitude in Laramie is higher than the altitude in Denver. I'm wow. not, I'm unbiased, but wow. I'm just stating facts. 7,000 feet. Press set of downs for Peasley. Runs the sack. Almost. Keeps it himself. Spins, gets the first and more. Oh what my, Andrew first. Peasley putting the team on his back. McCrory comes down with the tackle. It's a gain of 22. Five to seven yards at least gives you a shot at a field goal. Yeah. All right, there's it. Yeah, here's Coach Bull and John Hoyland talking pregame. We caught up with Coach Bull beforehand. He said, depending on what the win situation is, he can go as long as 55 or 56 if the wind's against him, 52. Doesn't seem to be much wind as a factor right now, but you never know. Five to seven yard out quick. Got to get out of bounds because you get tackled inbounds. It's going to be really hard to get the field goal unit on. I will say coach looked like he could be an extra in Tulsa team. <laughs> Did not last yes. outfit. No yes. timeouts for Wyoming on the fringe of John Hoyland's range. Got to be careful here. Peasley throws it way deep and throws it away. They're going to take a bomb field goal attempt? Yeah. And that was, the, that was the exact play he needed to do the last down when he took a sack. Yeah, he had plenty of time there. It didn't look like they ran any outs in the neighborhood of five to seven yards, which is confusing to me. Yeah, they might have been trying to get the first down. Clock stops. They needed 16 Rush yards. on, I know, I know. So 35, 42, 52 yarder. 52 yard field goal attempt. Right on day by John Hoyland. Again, his long is 55. He did that against Tulsa. The first team, all Mountain West member. Whistles looks before. like four. Timeout. Get kick a timeout. Good. He got they, it. they froze him. Timeout. I'm not going to lie. Prior to the kick, in, in, third and final timeout. In a twist of fate, I am rooting for Ohio. I love them action. I actually think with the Stella Blue in the end zone, it makes it a little right? easier. No, it makes it a little easier. That That is a, a big time target that you can look at. The what, other end zone, not as easy. What do you think on uh, the freezing? Obviously, it worked right there. He booted it right through. It's. I, I always, I'm always, i always down to freezing, especially college kickers. They're kids, you know? The only thing is when you use your last, I guess it's worth it, but now you know you can't be frozen. You know, yeah. No timeouts. But the odds, are, I mean, if you hit two straight 52 yarders, you're the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. He's John, got a leg. That, so that's John on Hoyland, altitude. Yeah, we that was way easy. Yeah. The first team. All conference, he's 87%, 20 for 23. That's second in the Mountain West. So they believe in this guy and they're giving him a shot from 52 here to extend the lead to six. Missed it. No, he nailed it. Curving left. Wow. And good. He's got a leg. That's not altitude, folks. That's his fourth field goal this season. 
50 yards or more. Drew it in. I thought it was going wide right when it, when if you maybe heard an errant missed it, it was actually good. That was a great kick. So John Horlin, that 21st field goal, now breaks that tie for a record. He has the most field goals ever by a Wyoming kicker in a season. Well, that one was good from well beyond 50. I'm going to say this, too. and I've always wanted to say it. We might be seeing that guy on Sunday. Oh, I love that. Big guy. You like that? What team do you think you could see him on? I don't know, but I'm just saying we might be seeing him on Sunday. Poise. I want so much merch. Like, those uniforms, can we get, like, a shirt with that patch? I'd wear it all the time. I'm turning into a big Cowboy fan right before your I will on. say, Dave, this giant Barstool logo on midfield stretching from 40 to 40, just beautifully done. They actually apologized. They said they wanted to get it bigger. I was like, it's pretty it's pretty big. A lot of people ask, why didn't we do the end zones? We don't really have an answer for that. I, it can't be that. I mean, we did the whole stadium. It can't be that expensive. There was a reason we couldn't. Whatever. It is what it is. We get a Jerry Redemption here. Oh, yeah. He's gonna. We're going to have to make sure we watch and see what happens with and Jerry. What could be the final play of the first half. So Hoyland booting it away after making that 52-yard field goal to extend the lead. Squib kick to six. The squib. Breaking the tackle and, and down. And that's how the first half ends. A lot of fireworks in the first quarter. Second quarter, the defenses reign supreme. And that's where we are. Wyoming 17, Ohio 11. Two quarters down, two to go. Yes. Coach, it's my understanding that you coach these kickers. Is it time that these boys get the star treatment they deserve? Well, you know what? We're really proud of the group, and John did a great job there. He got froze and came back and answered the other one. Clayton's doing a good job with that, but a competitive half here. A lot of balance so far in the game. How do you make sure you mo maintain that momentum in the second half? Well, first of all, I think we've got to do a better job uh, on defense, getting off the field a little bit on third down. Um, offensively, I think we're mixing things up pretty good. Um, Andrew's throwing the ball well. And we're going to need a couple explosive plays. So we got behind him a couple times, but we need to make him pay for it. Peasley on third and ten. Nice move. Faces pressure, avoids it. Still alive on the 15, and he goes out of bounds. It's fourth down. Great job by drawing up the blitz there, get him moving. I mean, great, great, great job to not get sacked by Peasley, but cut the field in half with that blitz not a lot of options no so it looks to be field goal time and this, for guy, John is, Hoyland. this guy is as money as money gets oh damn that's low man no i mean he is Hoyland one one day is doing is good it, he he the three yards you're, you're at the end no, of no, the no, first no. half no, this no. one's from 28. the all mountain west first teamer Easy. is good Dan's a real loser to try to jinx <laughs> right not, there. That wasn't you know, a jinx. Don't I'm beg unbiased. For I'm unbiased. Don't beg for 29. You, you're in perfect shape. The game's over. You're not no, going to punch no, 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 The game's no. over. All right, guys. So we mentioned earlier in the broadcast that these two teams have met twice before. And in both of those games, it was a one-point game. So we said, be warned, we might get a close one today. And we will. I say we have. Yes, we're in yeah. overtime. Yep. All the people on the score right now who are listening, watching this, just start tweeting. Game over, Ohio touchdown. No, because don't it's gonna do that. Happen. You can be probably a, already doing you, that. You can be a, a, a thought leader and beat us. <laughs> it hasn't happened, but everyone who knows football knows they're about to. That's the way they get the late game time field goal, hold them to three, and now they're going to go in and probably be two plays. All right, so.